Can the UV21R beat out the UV5R in scan speed? Well, we're going to find out right now. With my last scan speed test that I did, I really wanted to check out to see if Baofeng had done anything since the UV13R to improve the scan speed. And so, as you can see here, we're really not off to a good start. While it does have some very interesting features, I'm not sure they're enough to make it better than the UV5R at this point. As you can see, as we finish up this scan, we are going to be stuck at 1985. And when we look at the list here compared to the previous radios that we've tested, it's now fourth in speed. And while it's technically faster than the UV13, it's nothing to write home about. It is basically on par with a now 12-year-old radio in the UV5R. We do have some improvements to this radio, but I don't think it's that big of a leap forward to justify over other Baofeng radios. Yes, the color screen does look nice indoors, but it's pretty hard to see outdoors, and once the backlight turns off on it, it's impossible to see. It is literally black, where we have an advantage with the LCD type screen of the UV5R, where we can still read what the display tells us without the backlight. The USB charging is a great addition, but ultimately we had this with the UV13 Pro. Unless you need some of the very specific features of this radio, I think you're better off keeping your UV5R for the time being until Baofeng stops resting on its laurels and gives us a new radio with some better processing power. Anyways, thanks for watching. This is John, KG7AJM73.